the relationship with Sam and his words very sacred because we lived off of fish a long time ago. There used to be plentiful of fish here, especially here where we are, but there isn't anymore. I would say salmon is critical to the people in this area, both from a recreational point of view, but probably more importantly for food security and, and for the future of the communities. There's been a lot of change caused by human impacts and climate change that has resulted in a lot of spawning habitat for salmon being degraded or washed away. The problem that we identified here is the fact that the stream bed here is boulder dominant and a lot of fish come through here but there's just pockets where they spawn and so the spawning isn't as prolific as it should be in this area and it forces the fish to go further into the system where it's not any better. So we identified this spot as a location where we could actually really do something with a high effectiveness in increasing spawning. The main project uh, for this summer is replacing spawning gravel for uh, Chinook salmon and sockeye salmon. And so we've developed two kind of spawning mixtures, we'll say, of different gravel sizes to target those, those key species. We're excited about uh, the, this project and the sort of long-term vision for sustainability. I love this project because I think it's showing what is possible. There's a lot of bad news out there for salmon and sometimes people can lose hope. And sometimes people wonder, can we make a difference? And by supporting a project like this and helping the local people who have made this project possible, we're showing people that we can make a difference, that we can get wins for salmon, and we could support salmon to be sustainable, to be resilient, and to be healthy for generations to come. Pacific Salmon Foundation has committed $560,000, and then the partners that are behind all of this work have raised an additional amount of money. We're gonna go from no fish here to hopefully up to 4,000 spawners right in this pad, which is the potential. So that's very exciting. Once the project's in place, we don't have to do anything. The salmon and the steelhead and the other fish in this river will find this habitat and they'll look after themselves. And that's part of the beauty of this project. Anything that can be done to keep our fish alive and running and well populated is, is great for my, not only myself, my family, my kids and grandkids and great grandkids and same with everybody else that lives here. The success of this project and seeing that many fish come back here is going to make everybody happy. And I think that, you know, when you have people in the First Nations community having more opportunity for fish, sport fishermen having more opportunity for fish, just what it does for the ecosystem in general, I can't be more thrilled to think about that happening.